Hey y'all, this is Coach in the Fight over here, talking about epidemics, talking about pestilences, talking about plagues and diseases. That's right, we're talking about COVID-19, talking about the coronavirus. In our last video, we put up a class on the cure for the coronavirus or vaccine against coronavirus according to the scripture. And in this one, we want to talk about the cause of coronavirus. In this video, we're going to show you how and why humanity must go through all of these plagues and pestilences here in the last days. I'm looking over here at a verse coming out of the Third Testament of the Bible. It is chapter 55 of the Third Testament of the Bible. You can get a link to this book down there in the description if you haven't done so already. Um, but looking down here at verse 51, it says, Epidemics will fall upon the world. Strange and rare diseases before which science will be impotent and a great part of humanity will perish now I'm not here to scare anybody but I do want to let you know why these diseases are coming up on the world because knowledge is power and if we know why these diseases and pestilences are affecting the world then you know we have a better chance of staying out of their way and not contracting these illnesses or not perishing from these illnesses all right so let me jump over here to another book you may not have heard of and it's called second Esdras. In, in the King James Version of the Bible, his name was Ezra. So when you, when you look at the authors of you know, the book of Ezra and Nehemiah, this is the same guy that wrote this book over here. Now, in 2nd Ezra, we're down here in chapter 15. We're going to pull out a few verses from chapter 15 and a few verses out of chapter 16 to show you why these diseases are coming up on the world what is causing these diseases to be in the world All right so let's look at verse 1 he says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord now this is why we're doing this you know, because, of course, this is the father talking to Ezra or Esdras. But, you know, he's also talking to us, too, telling us to come out and tell the world about these prophecies so that they don't be alarmed, so that people don't get caught off guard. Verse 2 says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Now, we thank Ezra for going ahead and taking care of that part for us, as we can see here on this in this book that he's wrote here. Verse 3 says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the in incredulity of them trouble you that speak against thee. Talking about the, the naysayers of the world, there's, there's a lot of people that don't have a lot of faith in the word and a, and a lot of faith in the Father for that matter. And, you know, they, they tend to, to, you know, try to pick on people who do you know people who say you know we should be praying you know these guys are sitting back laughing at us and stuff but he said don't let the incredulity of those guys you know affect us at all don't let them stop us just because they don't know any better verse 4 says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness you know so hey laugh on if you want to you know, giggle, 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 but, you know, it's going to get pretty serious for you in a little while. That's what it's talking about there in verse 4. Um, and that's that's consistent with what everything else in the Bible talks about. You know, there's a lot of people that's going to perish for their unfaithfulness. Um, we can jump back over to the third testament of the scripture that, you know, basically says the same thing on how it is those who are going to forsake these words that I'm reading to you from the scripture. And they're going to be some of the first ones that are going to perish. Verse five says, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. And see, this is why I wanted to do this class, talking particularly about the COVID-19, which is has a huge effect on the world right now. This is Friday the 13th, March 2020, and that's all you hear about in the news these days is the coronavirus. But he's also talking about the sword, which is wars, uh, famine, which is people going hungry, death, uh, I think we all know what that is, and destruction. 
Uh, look at verse 6. He says, For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Now, see, you, you might have known that that was going to be the answer, that it was because of wickedness that these diseases and, and famines and wars and destruction are coming up on the earth. But stay tuned. I'm going to show you why it's coming out of China here as we get down a few more verses. All right, let's look at verse 7. He says, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Okay, so people tend to define wickedness in various different ways but the thing about the the way the scripture defines wickedness is breaking the commandments going against what the word says talking about what the commandments that you read over there in the books of Exodus and the books of Leviticus uh, you have some over there in the book of Numbers and the book of Deuteronomy it has a lot of commandments um, and people going against these commandments and you know, doing you know, like it says, profaning the 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 word, and this, and when they do so, they end up in this wickedness that they're talking about. But then he goes on and says, "Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continuously." This is how people are going out and are harming persecuting the children of God which are the righteous and then those who are innocent as well people are persecuting them we read in the scripture how evil is dominant in the world today and this this evilness is is having an effect even on the innocent and the righteous you know it's kind of spilling over in places that it shouldn't be but you have people that are actively going in and trying to harm these people. We'll see, we'll see who they are here in a second. I'm going to jump all the way down here to verse 24 of chapter 15. It says, Woe to them that sin, and keep not my commandments, saith the Lord. See, this is that wickedness that he was talking about. This is how the scripture defines wickedness, is by not keeping the commandments of the Lord. Talking about those commandments we read about over there in books like Exodus, uh, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. When you, when you read over there, um, I'm probably pop you up a verse here, but when you read in the New Testament, sin is the def as defined as breaking the law. Sin is defined as a transgression of the law, meaning, and that law is talking about are these commandments that we read about in the Old Testament. Verse 25 says, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power, defile not my sanctuary. Now, we're all about to do a class on the sanctuary here and what that is. Um, when, when you're talking about the sanctuary this late, and we're in 2020 already, when you talk about the sanctuary now, you're not talking about a building at all. You're not talking about a structure that you can see. This, this sanctuary is actually inside of us now. It has something to do with our conscious. Um, it's kind of where the Father dwells or kind of where the Father speaks to us from, from within. Um, it's, it's a spiritual sanctuary, but we'll give more, you know, on that when we give that class. We got a little more studying to do on sanctuary before we put the, before we put that class out. But verse twenty six says, "For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against Him, and therefore." delivereth he them unto death and destruction so now what you see out here with all of this coronavirus with all of these wars with all of these hate crimes and all of this stuff that's going on in the world um this stuff is not random guys this is judgment day that we live in here and what you are seeing is people who are getting their just judgments um like the bible said he who lives by the sword shall die by the sword well, um, the thing about it, you know, he ain't just talking about this lifetime. He's talking about our previous lifetimes as well. So if, if we have murdered somebody in a past lifetime and gotten away with it, you know, well, 
sucks for us because you know that's bad for us because now we have to die by by murder too you know we've done that thing now now we have to pay restitution and that goes for everything if we've stole something if we've cheated if we've had even bad thoughts against people we have to be held accountable to that and that's what you're seeing now in these latter days like I said this is judgment day but you look right here in verse 27 he says for now are the plagues come upon the whole earth and ye shall remain in them for God shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him talking about these plagues here and this is why these plagues are in the world is because of man's sin not necessarily that the father is taking vengeance on us so much as that we have created a disharmony with the universe as we create sins when when we do stuff against our brother like the laws of physics says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction so when I go out here and I do something to my brother even though it may seem like I've gotten away with it that that imbalance is created now in the universe and now there has to be an equal and an opposite reaction and because man has gotten away with a lot of stuff you know think about your own self and the you know the own little stuff you've done in your life you know you might it might seem petty to you it might seem petty to some other people little stuff you've done but think about how much of it you actually got away with you know you, you, you wasn't caught stealing the little candy bar or you know cheating on a test or you wasn't held accountable for you know a bad thought that you may have had against somebody or slandering somebody or maybe some wicked thing you did against your brother you may have seemed like you've gotten away with that but you've created an imbalance so you think about the whole world we're talking about and how the whole world have created such an imbalance well now and the times that we're living in now the whole world is making restitution for that the whole world is having to pay that back and that's why you see right here he says plagues will come up on the whole earth and that's why we have this one here this coronavirus now is on every continent except the one continent where no people live at and that's Antarctica but let's go on I want to show you a couple of more verses here now this one is talking about Asia it says it's down here in verse 46 and he says and thou Asia thou art partaker of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her person Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her, and hast decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Talking about Asia right now, and how it is like Babylon, and how those guys over in Asia are acting like Babylon. Now, the thing about Babylon, if you remember, you may not may not have heard the story at all, but Babylon is the source of all these pagan religions. All of these pagan religions came out of Babylon. Um, all of your Greek gods were originated there. All, even all of the pagan holidays that they celebrate today originated over there in Babylon. All of the sun god worship and all of that stuff came from Babylon and so now it's pointed out Asia saying that Asia is like Babylon how it says it has decked out thy daughters and whoredom that they might please and glory in thy lovers now is this talking about humans or is this talking about churches I'm not really sure but I don't really want to answer that in this video I'll just leave that up for you to decide but look right here in verse 48 he says thou has followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions therefore saith God I will send plagues upon thee widowhood poverty famine sword and pestilence to waste thy houses with destruction and death to waste thy houses with destruction and death so now this is putting a link to these plagues in Asia and then you know the thing about it 
you know, a lot of these plays that are common nowadays, SARS and all of that originated over there in Asia, um, um, in China to be specific. And, you know, here is why it's because China has acted like Babylon and gone on to do the things of Babylon. So he says right here, they will receive plagues, widowhood, poverty, famine, sword, pestilence, to waste their houses with destruction and death. Those countries over there, but China in particular, is guilty of targeting the Father's people by way of the churches and things over there in China. You're always hearing of how they're... they're uh, Closing churches and arresting preachers and, you know, forbidding Bibles to be in the country and all of that kind of stuff. You know, that's part of the imbalance that we're talking about that's creating these plagues. You look down here in verse 53, he says, If thou hast not always slain my chosen, exalting the stroke of thine hand and saying over their dead when thou was drunken, yeah. You know, this is this is what they're doing over there in the churches in China. Like I said, they don't even want uh, Christians over there. They they don't even they don't even want people of the word in China at all. They're targeting them. They're 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 making sure the Bibles aren't available to people over there in China. And so, to me, this is why I'm saying that a lot of these plagues are originated from China. Thing about it, the the uh, Black Death that happened so many hundreds of years ago, that disease originated in China too. That one came from China too. You know, that's why those guys over there in China and South Korea, they're so prepared for these illnesses and stuff is because, you know, they're used to them. Okay, now let's jump down here into chapter 16. And again, I'm not going to look at all of the verses here in chapter 16, but you look right here in verse 1, it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Now, the thing about, you know, Babylon, you know, of course, that was a city a long time ago. And But when you read in Re the book of Revelation, it talks as if Babylon still exists. Well, it does. And you say, well, where is Babylon today? Who is still keeping up all of these pagan religions? Well, you know, that that has a lot to do with the religions that are promoted by the Vatican, by those guys over there in Rome and so and and Italy. And so when you look at who's being affected by this new coronavirus, it seems as though is taking the same path as the Black Death did many years ago and that's going, you know, starting over there in China and then working its way through Rome and Italy and then working its way around the rest of the world. Because you can't just pick on the Catholics and say that they're the only ones involved in these Babylonian type religions. No, we're talking about Easter, we're talking about Christmas, we're talking about Halloween, we're talking about uh, Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day. All of these are Babylonian holidays that, you know, are, you know, being celebrated all around the world and so that's why even America has these diseases and why we will be affected by these diseases over here just like them over there but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up I hope you got something out of it if you did go ahead and hit the like button if you didn't go ahead and hit the dislike button but leave us a comment either way